As you are probably aware, the currency rates fluctuate in the market and sometimes we have to specify a time element for currency rates such as billing date, posting date or it could even be today's date. Before you do currency conversions in SAP HANA, you want to make sure that the standard SAP tables are added to SAP HANA in one of the schemas. So these are the TCUR tables, for example, which have the exchange rates. So they need to be in HANA before you do currency conversions. This is the scenario that I'm going to demonstrate. Now, in our source, um, in our source table, we have sales orders and amount in Great British Pounds. We want to convert this into dollars. So that's a fixed currency to a fixed currency. But in this scenario, we have variable currency. So we can actually use this whole source currency attribute and use that as our source. And the target is a fixed currency, which is US dollars. You can also use CE functions. This is called the CE conversion function, which you can use in SAP HANA also. So I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration on this one. So first of all, I'll go ahead and create an analytic view in my modeler. So I'll right click create a new analytic view and I'll call this my currency conversion demo 1. I'm, and I'm using the TCUR schema because this is where I have my TCUR tables and I'll use one of the tables over here. So uh, the first one I'm going to select the sales orders one and I'll go ahead and add the sales order ID as an attribute and the currency code as an attribute as well. The gross amount is a measure so I'll click on it first time right here and I'll change the name to EUR and if I scroll down the measure type is simple so I'm going to change this to amount with currency and then I'll choose the currency over here which is a fixed currency of euros there you go there's no conversion required for this one and I'll go ahead and add this again add as measure and I'll change this to gross amount US dollars okay and um, I'll change the measure type to amount with currency and the target currency in this case is US dollars enable for conversion and then I have to specify the source currency as well which in this case is fixed. Exchange type so here I'm going to select the historical rate that I want and I will also specify the date okay so whatever rate was valid on this date is going to be used so I'll use uh, December 12th for example click OK, save and let's go ahead and activate our analytic view. Activation is done and let's do a data preview and you will see that this is the gross amount in euros and this is the gross amount in US dollars after conversion. What I can also do is um, I'll go ahead and create another one with variable currency instead. So. I'll go ahead and close these extra windows, create a new analytic view. So this is my currency demo number two, currency conversion demo two. And in this case, I'm going to, um, this, this will be the purchase orders dynamic currencies in this case. So I'll go ahead and choose a table that I'm going to use. SNWDPO and I'm going to add the purchase order ID and I'm also going to add the currency code as an attribute and the gross amount as the measure okay 
So if I click on the gross amount, I'm going to rename this one as base. So I'm using this as my base and I'll change the measure type to amount with currency and this time I'm going to instead of choosing fixed I'm going to change it to an attribute because we have variable currencies and I'll just click on OK. I'm going to add this again because I want to do the conversion and I'm going to call this one gross amount US dollars and this is amount with currency so this is my target currency which is going to be fixed okay so this is going to be US dollars enable for conversion this time the source currency remember was an attribute currency code so on each row you might have different currencies and uh, exchange rate type I will use the historical rate and for the date I will use a fixed date remember I could have used an input parameter as well which I'm not using here and I will just go ahead and change this to December 12th as my date click OK save and activate the analytic view okay and let's have a look at um, uh, one more thing I would like to do here is because uh, there's so many currencies I think I'll go ahead and apply a filter on the currency rates because there are lots of different uh, currency codes so here I'm going to add uh, US dollars GBP and EUR so it's a filter that I've applied on this one so it's only going to show those currencies and it will do the conversion so I'll go ahead and activate this again and do a data preview and you can see we have euros and it's converting it to US dollars but if we have Great British Pounds so I can change the uh, base unit to GBP so if it's going to show you GBP over here as well so that's the end of my demonstration and just one more thing I would like to mention over here is um, if I go back over here and go back into my currency conversion for the currency over here so you can see not only can you do currency conversions but you can also do quantity conversions with unit of measure so that's all I have for this short